hearing from all your favorite coaches this morning on Good Morning Football. They're all sitting at different tables, but they all get to sort of hang out together in Orlando for the owner meetings. And we're going to hear from Pete Carroll here in a little bit. When I think of Pete Carroll, I think rebuild, retool, and then I also think Earl Thomas. Yeah, and is he going to go? Is like the last piece left, and I think he should stay. I'm sure he's going to ask a lot about Earl, especially after that moment Earl had with Jason Garrett during the season. Let's hear oh, from yeah. your former squad. Pete. Um, reinvigorated somewhat by this process of now having to really There's no question. churn. There's no question. Yeah. I think, I think, I don't know, for whatever, more than ever. And, and uh, I am fired up about it. Yeah, I'm fired up. You know, we've been through all kinds of transitions. We've lost coaches. We've lost players. And that's that's kind of what always happens. Um, and, and so every year, you know, you, you got to kind of recapture it and all that. I just, I'm just a little bit more jacked. I think I'm, you know, still pissed about the end, way we ended the season and finished where we wanted to. And uh, I think that's fueling it as much as anything. But um, I'm really excited about the about the guys that are here with, with us. The, um, Brian Schottenheimer and, and Mike Solari. Uh, those, these are terrific guys. Get Kenny Norton back. It's a huge deal to me. You know, Kenny has been a, uh, a, a big factor for us, and, and we felt his his departure. You know, just because of his energy and how he affects the players. And, uh, so to get him back is a big deal. You know. Did you and John kind of say, you know, we, we wrote this thing as long as we could, and, and it's, you got to take it apart to, to a certain degree? Well, not as much as I think we anticipated that the, the transition is always coming. You know, I mean, you can see the cycle of it, and we, we, we've realized that, that uh, you know, the guys are going to last forever, and they're going to play as long as they can, and then they move, and because of the cap considerations, you know, those are... Things that had to happen every year, we fight these these, these losses that come to you, you know. And, and when you have success, people want your players, and they're hard to keep them. And our guys get paid a lot when they leave here, and, and uh, to their credit and to their benefit, awesome. But uh, I don't think it's, I don't, it's, it doesn't seem that much different, you know. I, I, I've said the, the best way I can explain it to you is it feels a little, a little bit more obvious that there's a graduating class kind of moving on, you know. And uh, but other than that. Um, we're, we're not surprised by we're not surprised by this at all. It just might feel like a little bit more. And there, there has been more talk about that. I think it's also the emergence of the teams in our division that are doing a, a good job. You know, I think you just look at that, and I think it's an obvious contrast. But um, I think we're going to be all right. I'm excited about what we're doing, and, and, and uh, fired up about the guys that, that are coming to us. Brian, you know, the reinvigoration of the coaching staff there. How are those guys, from a coaching staff perspective, teachers? Oh gosh, these guys are on it. Uh, Shotty's been around a long time, and, and uh, you know he's he's been a coordinator for I don't know, nine or ten years in the league. He's been with uh, a number of great coaches, not to mention just sitting at home at breakfast with his pops. You know, uh, he is extremely um, versatile in, in his background, which I really loved, and his ability to to come in and, and embrace what we've done that's been successful for us, and make and, and, and ensure that that's going to mean be able to be maintained as well as accent what we're doing um, there was nobody like him so uh, I think he's a, a fantastic addition in that regard uh, Mike Solari is a great teacher uh, he's been noted wherever he's been he brings a little different variety of, of style of running game that I'm really excited about um, I've known Mike for years you know back to the Niner days and, and so I feel really um, blessed to have you know, hooked that up and also he and Shadi have been they have background too which is really important for their communication so off we go what do you want to see Russell improve this year it seems you know just keep getting better yeah. you know just 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 keep improving just keep getting better uh, seeing more understanding more seeing it quicker faster um, you know he's he's not that old of a quarterback you know we think he's been around so much he's played so much football but he's still in the middle of his formative years and, and uh, he's got improvement ahead of him I know he sees it that way as well and we're pushing to to keep finding that uh, I think the, um, the new relationship with Brian is going to be really important to him uh, Brian's going to challenge him in many ways and, and, and uh, Russell will challenge Brian in many ways it, it'll be really good for, for both guys and, and uh, I know that um, we're all looking forward to it you know and, and uh, we're just trying to get a little bit better Would you evaluate him and read it? Pete Carroll, they're taking some tough questions here because we don't know what this team's going to look like, what the process is. He was asked earlier about Earl Thomas saying he fully expects him back. We'll see how that shakes out. But it's not even the production of a Richard Sherman on the field, but it's, it's that leadership in the locker room that they've sort of let go away. Yeah, and I hope they hold on to Earl because this is also not a guy who's come off two Achilles surgeries. He doesn't have the injuries that Cam and Cliff have that could be career-ending. And you don't have to clear off the whole desk. You know what I'm saying? I know you're changing some things. I would just say to this, Pete Carroll was talking about it feels like graduating classes, guys want to get paid. 
If I'm a fan of the Rams, Eagles, Cowboys, Titans, and Bucks, yeah. watch that very closely because mm. that is going to be your coach in the future. Those mm. are all teams Talk that have it. quarterbacks on rookie contracts you can win now. Russell Wills is making $23 million this year. He's making 25 the Russell next Wilson's year. Russell Wills is not Jared Goff. No, but maybe Jared Goff will become that way. Yeah. My point is... Sean McVay is going to be sitting there at the breakfast. He's right. going to be sitting there. And he's going to be like, guys, we couldn't keep him anymore. Our car quarterback cost too much. The lesson, win now. Seattle got one. They should have gotten two. They did their job. The window closes. That is a closed window, okay? That's what we're looking at. And they kept that defense together for like five years, yeah. more than five years. It's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, that window was a sliding door that was wide open right. originally, right? And you felt that breeze in Seattle. And then all of a sudden it started closing. And slowly but surely, now it looks like that window could be closed for good. And you think about the LOB. I was thinking about this in my head. You got Cam Chancellor, who's banged up. Richard Sherman, that's gone. So, Legion of Boom. The Boom was Cam Chancellor, Earl yep. Thomas. They're still kind of sitting there waiting. Earl Thomas, we'll see what happens. Now, the Legion of Sherman's gone. If you had just that L, mm -hmm. that's what you're going to be holding, just that oh. L. Because that defense, and I'm not taking a shot at my former team, it's just that the Legion of Boom is no more. Uh -huh. Now, what do you do in the face of recreating yourself as Legion a team, as a boom? defense? You, right. have, you have to recreate yourself. I got to ask you. Mm. We're going to go to break here in about 10 seconds. Who's the favorite in the NFC West? I'm going with the Rams right now. Yeah. Miss, miss Rams. I'm going with the Rams, Seahawks, Cardinals, and the Niners. I know Niners fans get mad. I just got to see more during the regular season. What do you got? It's the Rams. The Rams were incredible last year. They're better this year. Are they the favorite in the NFC? We'll be back a whole, ooh, whole hour left of Good Morning Football. We'll see you in a little bit. We've got Todd Bowles. A lot of questions about the draft uh, because the free agency.